Hi guys and Hi. welcome back. Yes. To episode, episode 50. 50. I'm Mark Allen France, your guide to good food. And I'm Trisha Morrissey. My sweetheart of science. Yes. So it's 50. 50. We hit it. 50 Season 1. 50. Yes. This we're is so it. excited. So. And a little bit of toast. Cheers. Congratulations, honey. Congratulations. And thank you everyone thank out you there. Thank you for watching. Yes. For all of you guys who've gone down, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, got all of our notifications, shared with all your friends. And if you haven't yet, if this is the first time, this is the first episode you're seeing, go ahead and do it. You know, Just click on it. We would love you to be part of Team Awesome. Exactly. We had a great first season. And yes. this is uh, episode 50, like we said. So. Exactly. <laughs> One more? Cheers. Okay. Okay. Cheers. I haven't drank it yet, so. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Tastes really, really good. Yeah. So, <coughs> we're actually, whoa, <laughs> whoa. We're actually going to be doing a, a lot of fun stuff today, but um, on top of that, we've got some special guests that we're going to be, be bringing on. Yep. And, uh, you know, throughout this entire first season, I have learned so much about different foods myself. Mm -hmm. I learned that I like okra. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> exactly. And, and I used to not, not be too fond of it, yeah. but now I love it. And I learned that I can have mint on certain things. And it's, Chop it small, though. Exactly. Or you stick are. to your teeth. <laughs> exactly. We learned that. <laughs> um, what else did we learn? We learned carrots are great as a dog. Yeah. Carrot dogs, carrot dogs are delicious. You know, th that's one of our most recent episodes that yeah. you can go check out. But yeah, they're, they're, they're very, very delicious. And with season two coming up, We've got a lot more planned, especially because we're going to be heading into the holidays. Yes, so you don't want to miss any of our episodes. So if you, ha if you haven't clicked the little button, please do so. Exactly. Be part of Team Awesome. You're, you don't want to miss anything this season. So today, I was, I was trying to come up with something very special to do for Trisha. Because <laughs> of the fact that I want to celebrate not only the show, but also celebrate her for her being here with me Aww. as my sweetheart of it's science. so sweet, honey. <laughs> so, and as you can, you can <laughs> probably hear, Hannah and Griffin are celebrating with us yes. running around. And I wanted to celebrate all the delicious stuff that you create for mm -hmm. me and for our audience. Thank you. Thank you. I love doing it. Love doing it. So, honey, if you want to hand me that little jar over there. Oh, goodness. Is this... Dun, da, da, dun. One of our favorites. Yes, this is this is one of our favorites. Now, it is a truffle mustard, mm -hmm. and we get it over at Heavenly Scent Herb Farm, yep. and we have featured it on the show in the past, yep. um, but there's something special that I wanted to do with it. I wanted to use it as a topping on something that Trisha had challenged me to oh, make in the past. Oh, I know what it is. So, honey, can you guess what it is? Hmm, a soft pretzel. It is a soft <laughs> pretzel. So mm -hmm. we're actually going to be making soft pretzels. Actually, I'm going to. I'm going to let Trisha, you know, rest be her. Be the taste tester? Yes, rest her hands oh, a little God bit. Oh, God forbid that I have to taste it with my favorite mustard. Oh, I'm so heartbroken. So be really. actually, before <laughs> we go ahead and pop into the kitchen and get stuff done, why don't we grab the computer and... We're going to go ahead and say hi to a couple of our friends. Yeah. So, two very special people, very dear to us, have helped make this a possibility by, you know, teaching us, supporting us. Um, I know that I have spent a lot of time sitting in their living room <laughs> talking about different recipes. I've done a lot of cooking for them. Um, but... Tony and Shirley Griffin yeah. are our special guests. Yep. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do a little Zoom meeting with them. And we'll share that with you guys. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Oh, look, there they are. Hi, honey. Hey, guys. Hey guys how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's Team Awesome. Awesome food is awesome. <laughs> 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 Much so, to celebrate. Big 50. Big 50. The, the big 5 -0. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. But <laughs> if beyond anything, we, well, we want to say to you guys, thank you so much because you guys have given us so much support. 
you've inspired us to do what we're doing now. Absolutely. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that Trisha didn't help a little bit along the way because she has <laughs> a lot. But, um, you know, you guys have just done so much for us and we appreciate it more than words can say. Yes. We're so happy to have your support and your guidance and we love being part of Team Awesome. Yep. <laughs> there's, there's, of course, Mark and then the Queen of Quality. <laughs> <laughs> Morrisley, and you guys have done such a wonderful job. Thank you for having us on board and part of the adventure. It's, yeah. It's really great to see it grow and, and the fun and the information that people are getting from the channel. It's very unique and interesting, and I appreciate it. I Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Thank you very yeah, much. We, we're looking forward. I know that with the upcoming season two, um, we're going to be uh, really focusing in on the holidays because I know that once we get going, We've got Halloween and then Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and Christmas. Christmas, <laughs> and I know that it's a big pumpkin spice season. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have a lot of pumpkin spice <laughs> recipes planned. Yes. A little bit. Obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> little bit. You open yeah. up the dictionary for the new dictionary of pumpkin spice, and she is part of that squad. I, I've been told this. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Many, many times. Pumpkin spice, the next generation, right here. <laughs> next girl, pumpkin, next there generation. Any pumpkin flavor we can put in the beer? No, no. <laughs> well, there are pumpkin ales out there. Yes, so there are. Pumpkin ales. No, yeah. there aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I found that. Which is the one that I get, honey? Uh, I think it's um, a Sam Adams. Sam right? Adams, and that, that is, is the only one that I actually really love the flavor of it when it comes to a pumpkin spice. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I, it's, but we could come up with something to put into your beer. Of course. <laughs> you can make me a pumpkin pie. I, I love pumpkin, oh, yeah, we see, could do a pumpkin pie. she's putting her pie. order in Maybe already. You can add the beers, make your drinks awesome, right? Exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So, so Mark, as long as we've known you, you've been like really into the holidays and done a lot of cooking. I'm sure you're going to, Give it to your audience this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of good ideas. So we're really excited to share those. And I know that... The house keeps getting changed and turned into like every part of the fall season. Each month has its new theme. Exactly. It's insanely, it's insanely cool, actually. Well, so, and, It's more energy than I can imagine. <laughs> As you guys can see, if you look behind us, we already started getting decorated up here for, for Halloween. Yep. So we, we do have some stuff up there, and it's going to be some surprises for once we hit into the season two. <laughs> yeah. Will you be making any Satan burgers? Satan. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I know that... <laughs> maybe not Satan, <laughs> but <laughs> we will be doing some uh, a Satan roast when it comes mm -hmm. to Thanksgiving time, which will be awesome. Pair it with a viewing of um, the Jack Carpenter movie we watched. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah excellent film <laughs> that, yeah that is a good one <laughs> that's a, that's actually another good idea that we could do too is we could actually not only pair food with drinks we could pair it with a movie too yeah that's always fun that would be a lot of fun it's a wonderful life yeah it's a good, a movie. good movie yep oh yeah Oh yeah, that's a that's a good. I'm not thinking of we watched Exorcist three last night and it has these wonderful life moments in it. That are, yeah, that's right. There's a there's a there's a synchronicity with that. That's another Ooh. great movie. <laughs> that, Halloween, everybody. Exactly. <laughs> yes, no, Exorcist three is actually a very underrated film, but yeah, it'd be good with a, a nice bowl of split pea soup. <laughs> oh, I don't You're know. Perfect. Pudding, as the case may be. Or exactly. <laughs> Mark's pretty much a horror film expert, so I'm going to ask him your questions. And... Right. <laughs> he might well be a holiday film expert. That too. I, yeah, I think you, know, you're, you got that. <laughs> yeah, his, his secret love of, of love actually is well documented. <laughs> I actually... With a cup of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> I actually had never watched Love Actually. Until here. Yeah. <laughs> until Trisha had me see it. So so she actually introduced me to that. But yeah, no, I've got all your classic uh, holiday films 
totally i watch those year round so that's something that we can actually put in there too yes and the kids like to do the whole home alone series <laughs> we you know we have our our traditions of you know binging on which ones during the the right time of the year so well, exactly. your viewers have a favorite movie they can suggest and you can create a meal for it oh, that's yeah. a good idea that's too. a great idea yeah. So, like we do a Shane Black Christmas. We watch Shane Black movies over Christmas Eve. <laughs> and we watch those or any holiday themed Christmas ones. Of course, Die Hard. Die Hard, yeah. Right. So, f uh, what I'd like. Oh, yeah. An excellent <laughs> film. Yeah. So, what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually give a little toast. A little toast to the, our 50th episode. <laughs> 50th episode? Oh, they're cracking the can. They're cracking it. There we go. And, and to you cheers. guys, too. <laughs> and to another 50 and many, many, many more. Absolutely. Happy 50. Happy 50. Happy 50. It'll, it'll be a day over a year and a half. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank well, you. Thank you. And we will talk to you guys very soon. Yep. We'll see ya. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. You guys, too. All right, there we go, honey. It was great to see those guys and have a little chat with them. Um, so now that we've had a little, our little talk, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop back in the kitchen. Trish will sit there and she'll she'll fan fan me while I I slave over the hot stove making her some pretzels. So we will be right back in we'll just soon. a moment. In a large bowl. Add in two packets of active dry yeast and six tablespoons of white sugar. Whisk these together. And then you're gonna add in two cups of warm water. Whisk together and then set this aside for 10 minutes. Now after the 10 minutes is over, your mixture should be very foamy. Now add in two tablespoons of melted vegan butter, along with five cups of all-purpose flour. Now go ahead and mix this together until it forms a shaggy dough. Now go ahead and flour your workspace. And we're gonna go ahead and turn out our dough onto our workspace. Lightly flour your dough and then knead the dough for three to five minutes until it comes together into a nice firm ball of dough. Go ahead and add more flour if needed. There we go, there's our nice ball of dough. Next, spray a clean bowl with nonstick cooking spray and place your dough inside the bowl. Cover this with a clean towel and allow it to rise for about an hour until it doubles in size. Now I'm going to prepare two baking sheets by placing parchment paper on each baking sheet. Now once our dough has risen and doubled in size, punch it down and start to remove it from your bowl. Once again, turn your dough out onto a floured surface.
dust with some more flour. And then we're going to cut our dough into 16 equal pieces. Now once you have your dough all cut, you're going to begin rolling each piece into a long rope about 17 inches in length. Now once you have your dough all rolled out, take the ends of the dough and twist them together and then fold the twisted ends over onto the middle to form a pretzel shape. There you go. Do this with each ball of dough and place your pretzel dough onto the baking sheets and then preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now we're going to prepare our baking soda bath. In a large pot over medium high heat, add in four cups of hot water and one quarter cup baking soda. Whisk this together and then bring it up to a light simmer. Now place a pretzel onto a spatula and we're going to immerse this into our baking soda bath for five seconds. Now place the pretzels back onto your baking sheets and sprinkle them lightly with no salt. If you decide to use something like sea salt, use it very sparingly. Continue this process for the rest of the pretzels. Now place your baking sheets into your oven and bake them for 12 to 15 minutes. Now once your timer has gone off, remove your pretzels from the oven and place them onto a cooling rack. Look at how beautiful these pretzels are. And as always, have fun experimenting with the shapes, the sizes, and the thickness of your pretzels. There we go. Ooh, Look those at are that. beautiful and I'm so excited to try mm -hmm. them with my favorite mustard. And they don't have a ton of salt on them. Now no. what I did is I went through and I picked out some of the more well done ones. It's the fun thing about making your own pretzels <clears> is <throat> you can either have them done well or you can have them not done so well. You just don't want to have them you don't want to burn doughy. them. <laughs> yeah, and you don't want to burn them. Yeah, you don't want them um, undercooked or overcooked. No, but, but this is perfect. these are excellent. Beautiful. And I can't wait. Yay. I can't wait to try one. I know. I, I'm since it's. I'll let you go ahead and choose first. Since I made well, these especially not, for you. I'm not going to be super picky. Would you like to split this one with me? Sure. Okay. Well, so <laughs> you can um, take more if you want because I know no, that you, I, you're I the bigger. Pretty evenly. Uh, I think I have a little bit more than you, but thank you. Um, you're welcome. Thank you. So <laughs> she didn't even wait for me to. Okay. Thanks a lot. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Oh my mm. gosh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. You're hired. Not bad. Not bad at all. Especially for it being the first time that I made pretzels. Mm -hmm. So, I know that these, the pretzel. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't think the pretzel did that. It might be the, the vino. No. I think it was just the pretzel, my excitement. Well, I know I'm going to try this again. I'm going to try a little bit without the mustard. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. They're good. Good. By good putting texture. that, by giving that little water bath there, mm -hmm. it does. It, it it's great because it gives that nice little that little layer on top. Yeah, it gives it that sheen. Right? Mm hmm. 
but in this these are so so delicious now mm -hmm. i'm i know one thing that i'd like to try sometime i know these are your favorite i i can't resist the soft pretzel mm -hmm. i really can't i'm it's like my weak one of my weaknesses i should say Mm hmm those no. are really good the kids love these too so I don't know how long these are really going to last in the house. Probably not very long at all. Probably be going to I know that we've got two little scopers around here. Oh, yeah. Griffin just went that way. Hannah, Hannah went, went that, that way. way. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Milo's just chilling out somewhere. Mm-hmm. Well, mm. in the mustard. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. If you have never been over to Heavenly Scent Herb Farm, I know that some of you probably live too far away. Look online and see if you can get some of this truffle mustard. Oh, it's it is really so good. delicious. Mm -hmm. and, and paired up with these pretzels. It's perfect. Delicious. Oh, but what I was going to say is what I'd like to try to make is I'd like to try to make cinnamon pretzels sometime. Oh, yes. Because I know that. I know the kids will like those too. I know the children would love that. Yes. And if, you know, we could, um, instead of mustard, you could probably also make like a vegan cheese. Uh, mm -hmm, sauce mm -hmm. for this that you could dip it in or like you said if you did cinnamon sugar then you can make if you want to drizzle a little bit of icing over it you could mm -hmm. like you would on oh, a cinnamon so bun but oh these are perfect mm -hmm. i want to eat another one but i'll be good i'll share here honey <laughs> no that's okay sweetie anyways who you got there oh miss hannah banana She's Tell saying, everybody hi. Happy 50th, happy 50th episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah anyways, she's our little princess. Yes, she is. And our little our little clown is over there <laughs> hanging out on the chair. Yeah. Well, this is a really great way to celebrate our 50th mm -hmm. episode. I'm really excited for everybody to check out season exactly. two. Exactly. We've got lots of stuff planned, especially for the holidays. Oh, yeah. Lots of stuff for Halloween mm -hmm. and it's coming up very very shortly yes and a lot of stuff for Thanksgiving because if you if you have any ideas also I had to just jump in there but if you have any ideas oh look at there's a little tiny like a little feather it's a, a lucky <laughs> feather but um, if you have any ideas that you guys would like to share with us mm -hmm. and stuff that you'd like to see on the show, mm -hmm. or if you want to challenge us to veganize something. Yes, we would love for you to send in exactly. ideas. Exactly. And, and you guys can, like we've said before, go down, hit the subscribe button if you're new here, hit the bell, get the notifications. And you can also get our newsletter over at www.makemyfoodawesome.com. Yeah, and we'd love you to be part of Team Awesome. So please come exactly. join us. You don't want to miss season two. No, you do not. And, and Christmas time and Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. those two are going to... I'm not saying that Halloween's not one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Thanksgiving and Christmas, just I, I, I love, love making stuff at that time. Griffin, <laughs> get down. He's trying to climb on the table. So anyways, you guys, thank you very much. Come back and see us here again on Make, Make My, my Food, Food awesome. awesome. And we will see you guys very, very soon, coming back in season two. Guys, take care. Bye now.